Right, so we're looking at the um, assembly of the product now, and there's been a few things um, to go through here, but what I will concentrate on is basically the use of paper. Um, different types of paper you can print on. There's a normal sort of paper that you can get. Quality is okay, but it does bleed quite well, and that's probably your, your usual standard 50 to 70 gram paper you get from there. You should be able to see the difference hopefully on these sheets and this sheet you can see has got a, a nice gloss to it but it's also a lot clearer and the colour is a lot more defined. Um, this is actually printed on photo paper and ready to be encapsulated and because of the quality of the print um, to make it look good I've done that with most of them so we've got a sort of piece of a card one with just black just to make sure it can photocopy okay which it does and then of course we've got the business cards ready to cut out with the crop lines which we'll be looking at in a second but first we're going to look at doing the, the bag now last time I uh, left this it was literally all ready to print on serif draw I have been printing these off and I'm using very very cheap glossy finish paper for the internet again there are different companies that provide this to so staples there's all sorts of people and the ones I've used is Tesco's just because it's near to me but that doesn't mean this brand by any chance or by any stretch is better than anybody else's so the photo paper I've chosen to use you can either use matte or glossy on this case I've used gloss just to make it look a better finish the second part is to actually make the images which I've done here and you can see I've, I've got the crop marks across the top and it's also ready to fold so I've got the bits ready to print out here and it looks like some pieces are missing on here but it's not it's just where the crop is onto this bit so that will be one side and then we actually have another side so the quality itself first of all is good quality you can see that what I've actually put on here as well as a barcode is actually some sort of colour bars for the printing. Right, next thing I need to do is because that's quite thin, is I need to actually strengthen the back. And because I've decided I'm going to use the back, I've really got some black card. Um, it's about 30, 40 pence a sheet onto there as well. It just makes it a bit stronger, but this is going to be laminated and encapsulated anyway. Right, how do you do that? literally make sure we've got the matching set so just move those out of the way on the back of here I'm just going to apply some spray mount again it doesn't make no difference what sort of uh, adhesive you use I'm not saying that this is the best by any, any stretch or promoting any brand but this is stuff I tend to use and I've never had any problems with it you do pay for what you get to be fair so this is a, a permanent adhesive so it should stick onto the back so the first stage is to place that where it needs to go and then I'm going to get the card and I've been brought different sorts of cards so I've got this bit which is embossed and also perforated and you can see what we've got there it's literally a foot square and it's called glaze stripe it's manufactured in the USA and again that's probably about 90 GCSM and I've also got like a shiny black and um, sort of perforated mark as well which I'm going to try and use okay right let's go and spray mount okay so I spray mounted the card you can see it's uh, sticky so I'm not going to stick too much make sure I've done all the edges and then what I need to do is lay it at the back now I'm using my vinyl spreader just to start from the centre and I'll push out into each corner just to make sure there's no bubbles at all so I'll just line these corners up use my spreader and go from the centre push outwards 
And the reason I'm pushing outwards is that any air that's trapped in will be pushed to the side of the paper. So it should be totally flat. Now always be careful when you're using spray mate and things like that, glue that you get no glue on your fingers because it will wreck this paper. Right, what's the next stage then? Next stage, once we've done these two, is to create and to encapsulate these so we can work with them. And that's the next stage now.